been a minute since I cooked and today I was feeling some ribs. So today what we're going to do is cook some spare ribs. I'm going to clean them up, season them up, smoke them up with some post oak and it should be good guys. Get back to you. Okay, let's get these ribs cleaned up. They're not looking too bad. Might have to clean up a little bit. Let's go ahead and flip it over here. And uh, you see this membrane right here and a little bit of this uh, skirt part, part right there. We're gonna cut that off. So I'll trim that up. And you know, some people throw this stuff away. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'll just put it on the side of the pit somewhere and uh, heck, I'll just make snacks out of it, man. So let's clean that up. I've been told you don't have to do this membrane before. They said a lot of the big major restaurants don't, but you know, whatever, I'm gonna pull it off anyway. So you don't have to get it all off, but get a tape paper towel and get most of it off as you can. Clean that up as much as you can. Kind of grab it. get it there get all that off maybe clean this up just a tad more and like I said I'm not gonna waste it I'll put it on the pit somewhere on the side and use it as a snack that looks I mean it's not competition style but it looks pretty good to me eh, there's a little bit on the edge right here it's kind of going to cook too quick. I'll trim that off. Uh, that looks pretty nice there. It's got a very little fat right here. Not very much. I mean, I probably could have left it alone, but I'm going to go ahead and trim it off. Oh, that, that looks like a pretty nice rib there. I'm going to start on the back side here. And you notice I don't have any gloves on because I'm at home and like I said, this is not a competition cook. This is just me cooking at home. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and season these bad boys up. What I am going to use is some salt, pepper, and garlic. And all I did was grind up some salt, pepper, and garlic in equal parts. And uh, we're gonna mix that on here. And this is fresh ground. I mean, you can buy the stuff, but I don't know. I mean, if I can, if I have enough stuff in the cabinet, freshly peppercorns and all that stuff to grind some stuff up, I'll do it. And uh, you notice, uh, I didn't use a binder today. Yeah, it's fine. You can use a binder if you want to, but I didn't use a binder. I'm gonna flip this to the other side. season this side with that layer of seasoning. All right. This is going to sit, I don't know, for about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to let it start to sweat. That salt that's inside the seasoning is going to start to get some of that moisture up and that's going to make the meat a little tacky anyway. So that's why I didn't worry about the binder. I mean, it wasn't any, any big deal. You can use the binder or not use the binder. But we're going to let that sit, and then I'll do my next layer of seasoning. Uh, this has been hanging out for about 15 minutes or so, and I'm going to add another seasoning. I use that salt, pepper, and garlic kind of as a base and uh, let that moisture come up and let it sit. Now I'm going to hit it with a little, it's more like a sweet rub, so it's going to have a little... Brown sugar in it, paprika, some more garlic, you know, all that good stuff. So that's gonna, it's gonna be more like a little sweet rub, so I'm gonna douse that good on one side. Get it good on the other side.
Now that I have that all seasoned out, I'm gonna let it hang out while I finish getting the pit ready. Like I said, I'm gonna use uh, some post oak today and that's what I'm gonna be cooking with. So it's time for me to get on to the barbecue pit. I actually got it started. I need to go check on it, see what it's doing. Get back to you soon. Okay, I have this pit where I want it. I'm using an offset smoker today. And uh, we're gonna sit these ribs on here. See those nice ribs right there? Sit those on there. It sure does look like a lot of wasted space, doesn't it? Just for some ribs. You know what? It's not gonna be wasted space because I'm gonna throw some chicken on. I'm not gonna waste all this good smoke and fire on one stack of ribs. But anyway, this is a rib video, so I'm gonna show you how I do the ribs. But if later in the video you see a piece of chicken sticking around there, that's okay. And that's why, because I just didn't want to waste space. But let me close this sucker up. I'm talking too much. And because you know, losing heat, losing cook time. Let's close this sucker. Get back to you. Okay, meat's on. Pit's hot. And the smoke looked like it's running pretty clean. So running a clean fire here and get back to you guys in a bit. It's been about an hour since they've been on. Time to spritz them up. You see they kind of drying up a little bit there. That, that gives you a good indication when it's time to go ahead and give them a spritz. Not gonna knock any of the seasoning off, so I got it on like a fine spritz, but I'm gonna wet them up pretty good. Um, all I'm using is a mix of water and apple cider vinegar. I'm, I mean, it add a little flavor, but I'm not really looking to add flavor right now. I think I have a pretty good amount of flavor. But anyway, I'm going to moisten this up, close it back up, and we'll continue cooking. Remember when I told you I wasn't going to waste those little pieces of meat? And I may just use them as snacks. It's only been an hour, but uh, I mean, it's, it was thin, pretty cooked through. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor's coming out good so far. Mm. That's why I don't waste meat. Well, it's been a couple hours. and go ahead and check this. It's probably time to wrap. Oh, yeah. It's time to wrap these sucker. Let's get them inside and wrap it. Well, let's get it inside. Let's see the bottom. Yeah. Bottom's looking good. Not all burnt up and crispy. Everything's looking pretty good. A lot of sunshine. Hope you can see that. Well, it's been a couple hours and it's about time to get this slab of ribs wrapped. I'm gonna take just you know, a little bit of my barbecue sauce there. I'm gonna get this rib right here. Looking pretty good there. Put it down in there. I'm just gonna Wrap them over, put them back on the pit. I don't want to poke it too much. I don't want to get the bones out. Let's go wrap it here real quick. I didn't want to use my, <laughs> my cook glove, so I put one of the little cheap ones on top of it there. So I can throw it away. But anyway, got that wrap. Gonna put it back on the pit. I'm sure someone's gonna ask the question, why didn't I double wrap it? Uh, the reason I did not double wrap it because when I checked the temperature of that rib as it was coming off prior to me wrapping it, it was at a temperature not too far off from where I wanna be when I'm completely, completely done. I don't know what it's about. 15, 20 degrees off. Uh, I just didn't feel the need to double wrap it. Um, I think it's gonna be fine. I like a nice firm bite on mine. Um, sometimes I cook my neck and I don't wrap them at all and they come out just wonderful. I'm going to get it to about 201, 202 and that's when I'm gonna pull them, sauce them and be done with it anyway. So to answer the question before anybody asked the question, I didn't do it. Didn't feel the need to, so I didn't double wrap. Get back to you. When it's time to sauce them up even though i'm using my offset smoker 
I did stick a probe in it. Um, you can see at the bottom one at 272. So I was trying to keep it at about 275. I just keep a probe in it just to uh, help monitor the temperature. I like to keep it within temperature. That one on the top, I told you I wasn't gonna waste everything on the pit, not put something else on. That's my chicken. So, you know, hey, it's almost getting to uh, 165 is, is, is where I'm going to want it. Um, ignore that 203 and that 176. I didn't reset any of that crap. So that's what I was looking for. Go ahead and check these ribs. That's why I wrap them that way because it's easy to open. Looking pretty good. I'm going to check this temperature. Mm, yeah, sitting there right. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know. Maybe you can see it from there. 201, 202, right where I want it. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's right there. Well, actually, I think it went to 206, but what have you, it's fine. So now, since they're at the temp I want, it's time to go ahead and transfer them. Get some of this juice off of it. Look at that. Hope you can see that, guys. Look at that. That looks just freaking absolutely wonderful. And so now it's time to sauce them up. Uh, get this out of the way. And what I've done is, there you go. Now, I put them in there just to make it easy. And I'm going to go ahead and sauce them up. I don't need these gloves anymore. All right. So. Sauce them up. Just use whatever sauce you want. I don't want a lot on it, per se. But I do want a layer of sauce to formalize over top. Hit it with a little bit more seasoning flavor. Now we're going to go ahead and put them back on the pit in about 15 minutes or so. Those are going to be absolutely delicious. Okay. The moment of truth has come. Let's cut these suckers up. Turn it over because it's easier to see the bone. Hopefully the bone's are pretty straight. Well, it's a pretty bone right there, but it's okay. We'll just stop right there for the moment. Turn these over. See if I can find this other. All right. Done cooking that. Didn't show y'all the chicken because it wasn't a chicken video. It's a rib video, but moment of truth. There's that rib that I cooked. Looks pretty juicy. You see me squeeze it a little bit like people squeeze them. Ooh, juice running down my fingers. Now we have to bite it. Delicious, man. You gotta bake some nice ribs. You gotta bite more. Didn't fall apart too much. Gotta bite more. Mmm. All right. I think I did a pretty good job. Try it out, guys. Talk to you later.